So in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can choose an environment and add some objects and how you'll be able to manipulate those objects. So in Code Spaces, I've gone over to My Spaces and create a space. I'm going to choose a 3D environment. And the first thing I need to do is choose the environment that I would like my space to be. So if I click on Edit here, I can scroll through. And I'm going to choose a marine environment. Next up, we need to add some living and non-living things. So I'm going to choose my geographical features first. If I click on Other, then if I drag one of these out, and I've got these handles here. This one is to rotate on the X, Y, and Z axis. So I can rotate it this way. And I can also click and drag it over. I can translate it up and down using this. And here I can resize. If I double click on something, it will give me color options. So I can change the color, I can change the opacity. And for the living things later on, I'll also show you how you can animate them. Let's take out one more thing. Also a useful tip, once something's where you want it, double click, lock it up. Double click, lock it up. That means that when you're moving things around, they will stay there. Back into library, over to animals, water animals. I've got the option of land, water, and air here. And I want crabs. If I want to zoom in, I use the scroll. And if I want to pan left and right, forwards and back, if I hold down spacebar, click and drag. Now here, I just mentioned animating animals. So click in animation, and we'll have a walking crab, and now Control C, Control V, and if I hold down Shift, Control C, Control V. Now I've got multiple crabs. I can also, if I were to have, say, a pod of dolphins, they're not bottom feeders, so I can translate it up, scroll out slightly, and Control C, Control V. Oops. Drag that out, and again, if I want to animate them, they can have individual animations, or if I give them the same animation, when I do Control C, Control V, then those animals will all have the same animation. Looks a little bit unnatural if all the animals are at exactly the same height. So have a few higher, a few lower. Then the same rules apply if I want to change the color. If I were to have a pink river dolphin, then I could change the hue slightly. And there you go. So I've just created an environment. I've dragged out some uh, geographical features. I've locked them up so they won't move. I've started animating them, changing the color, and also duplicating them. Once I've done that, I can go into play and there I can see what my animated objects are going to look like. Later on, we'll program them so they can move around as well. In this.